This video is sponsored by Value Testers, best tool company on the web no one compares. Need new tools or upgrade? Think Value Testers. Link in description below. Alright guys, just going to do a quick little cooking video. I got some, some green peas, split peas here. I'm going to soak these three bags in some water. And then I got home any corn. I'll rinse that out. Got a nice big bag of ham that I cooked up. I cut that all up in pieces. You know, garlic and hot peppers. We'll throw that in there. And we'll throw it in the crock pot and let it simmer. Which is here in lockdown, so. I'll try to get you some shots. Alright, we'll just let this set in the water and, um,. What it'll do is it'll expand the peas. Usually let it set overnight or something, but I'll give it like to later in the day. Helps it cook quicker. Alright guys, so I had the peas soaking for a while. What you want to do is put them in some water and let them soak and kind of loosen up a little bit, right? A couple of cans of hominy corn. I got a whole bunch of ham that I cut up into small pieces. This is the ham I cooked a few days ago. And, um, garlic and hot peppers. Obviously, we'll put some seasoning in there also. So let me get all this stuff in the pot. Should all fit in here. This is one of them big crock pots, and we'll just let it rock and roll. Alright, so we'll just dump the peas in there. some more water in there anyway. And put the hominy corn in there. The ham. The garlic and hot peppers is kind of a lot, but I like that. Give it a good mix. Just plug it in, set it, and forget it. Salt. Pepper. Cover on it, plug it in, let it rock and roll, Mom. I'll put it on high for a couple hours and I'll turn it down. Might have to add more water to it, I'm not sure. We'll see. Let it rip potato chip. 8 o'clock in the morning. I did add some more water to it. So it's at four and a half hours. I did have, have to add some more water to it, but put it on low. Let it rock and roll. Yum!
got it on low, so I'm going to stir it a little bit. And looks like it's almost ready. A little bit longer and we'll be done with it. It's pretty much done. Started at what eight o'clock, right? Yum. All right, it's done. I'm shutting it off. All right, it's nice and thick. Got the ham in there. How many corn and the peas? Yum! Alright guys, I let it sit overnight. This was about half full. So I had to add quite a bit of water to it to make it so it's pliable. Because this was in, the re was in the refrigerator. You can see this one. See how it's just too thick? So I'm going to have to do is cut it with some water. Which I did on this one. And I could put this in containers now and freeze it. And then I'll have to take like half of that, put it in here, mix it with water, and then mix the water with that, and then I'll have, you know, I'll be able to use it. But that's about what you want to see for soup right there. That's good, nice and thick. But this, this is too thick. See it? Gotta add water to it. Just a little tech tip. Alright okay, guys, so I cut it with water. And I got what, seven containers there? It'll last me a while. We figure that's like two meals right there. So I definitely had to cut it with water because it was too thick. But that's fine. Yum! Our real workman cook series.